Hey guys, it's Fred over at Mac Daddy Leaders. Wanted to give you a uh, quick Sunday terminal tackle tip for those of you guys that are fishing salt water. Um, this past weekend, uh, some of you guys know we fished the uh, Go Big or Go Home 2017 uh, tournament down in South Padre Island. Didn't really get um, the fish that we were looking for. So you guys know some of that um, hurricane remnants or tropical storm remnants, if you will. Um, really kind of stirred up the water and it really did make uh, fishing conditions all that great. Um, landed a couple of fish, nothing crazy, nothing to talk about or post about, but it is what it is. Um, that's why it's called fishing and not catching. So a couple of the, of the, the sets that I was using were um, 250 pound um, fish finder rigs. Um, I had different hook setups so that you could change this out to go to like a 6 aught or go to a 12 aught or a 14 aught or a 20 aught um, and it would still provide the same, you know, type fishing um, setup. Um, here's one of the rigs that I used. Um, that's got an 11 knot hook, uh, straight shank, and then this has got a 14 knot hook. So the purpose of this video today is to let you guys know that you know while I do make and sell leaders, every leader is not indestructible, and every leader can have you know its own set of challenges per se. Um, here is a, a double drop rig, and as you can see, the 150 pound blue, um, blue, yellow, red, yellow, clear. Um, was perfect. However, I did use um, a hundred pound Momoi's Mono just to give it a real light presentation in the water. I actually use this. Um, and it kind of got a little kinked up. So I'm going to show you one of the ways that I use or what I do to kind of get this back into shape and more manageable. Another thing, um, Gamakatsu hooks. This thing sat soaking for about 18 hours yesterday. Um, and then this morning for about six hours. So 24 hours in the water, 22 hours in the water. Um, and this sucker just, just bit it. Um, Trocar, these are um, six for 12 bucks. So about two bucks a pop. This did have a little bit of rust, but for the most part is all around in great shape. A little bit of rust right there. So guys, purpose of the video is to show you how I kind of keep my stuff looking nice and clean and fresh. Um, after this is all going to get cleaned up, it's going to get a, just a quick douse of Corrosion X. Does anybody else do this um, over all the, tam all the tackle? Because it's going to get stored. It's going to be put away. Um, it's not going to be used for another week or so. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Any questions, let me know. Okay, so here is my fish finder rig. It's a sliding drum rig, if you will. Um, I've got some warm water here, um, nothing hot, nothing crazy. And what I do is I like to let these soak in here for just a little bit. Um, it does a couple of things. It kind of cleans the tackle. It kind of keeps everything, you know, gets everything rinsed off, washed off. Um, but what's going to happen here is it actually lets the line kind, kind of soften. And I'll show you another tip that I use or another thing that I do to make the line kind of go back to its normal shape. Here's one of my double drops. Also, um, the 150 pound um, mono did well. However, this 100 pound did kind of get kinked up a little bit. Um, just from the cast, just from being out there, and probably just for me at the end of the day, storing it and it not being um, put away properly. So I'll talk about that here in the next clip. All right guys, so here's what I like to do. I like to get the, um, the mono and it's been in here maybe a minute. You could probably wanna go a little bit longer if this doesn't give you the results that you're looking for. Um, but what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just take this and I'm gonna hold it firmly in my hand and I'm going to just put some pressure and put some heat on this. I'm pinching down and what's happening is it's getting hot And it's letting this thing kind of get back to its original shape. Well, I should say as close to as straight as possible. Okay, so it's not perfect, but it's straighter. Um, another tip what you can do is hang this something onto something and put a weight down here at the bottom. That will actually put it back straight. That will put it back straight, but you do risk the chance of putting undue necessary uh, stress on the crimps. So if you do that, that's fine. That's another way as well. 
Um, just make sure that you get your pliers and before you go out, you just give it a little tap. Um, another thing is, although I do use crimps, high quality crimps, um, they, they do sustain, but if you catch fish after fish after fish with, with the leaders, it's inevitable that this is going to get weak. So by all means, after a couple of fish, go back here with your pliers and just give it a quick pinch and you'll be good to go. All right, guys, so one more thing I like to do is I like to put this on something, in my case, my cabinet, um, and give it some tension and run your finger back and forth. This thing is starting to get warm. I, I, I starting to get hot. And just like the warm water, this is bringing it back to its form. Look at that. So... Just another little tip. All right, guys. So here's the final result. I mean, it's it's pretty darn back to normal. And you know what? If it's not perfect, it's not a big deal because this is out in the water and it's doing its thing, and it's loose, and you know, it's it's out there in the current, washing back and forth. It's it's not like it has to be, you know, like this. You know, this is okay. So if there's a little bit, well, let's see, no. See, it's not perfect, but that's okay because it's still going to be effective because when it's out in the water and it's moving around, it needs, it's the, the limber effect. So all good. Hope you enjoyed that. So I sprayed some of this Corrosion X on my towel here and I've given them a, just a quick clean. Um, Dang, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be, you know, you don't have to sit here and go, psh, you know, just a little coating. Because of what we're going to end up doing is putting them back. The last step here is dry them off, coil them together, and put them back in the original packing. Thanks again for watching this video. Remember, the key to keeping your tackle nice and clean and fresh and straight is proper maintenance. Take care of those swivels. Take care of the hooks. Clean them. Keep them fresh. Take some water. After you're done fishing for a couple of hours and you're switching baits, clean them off, rinse them off, get all that gunk off of them. In addition to that, if you use spider weights, I have found that they are a mother. They do get tangled and they will tangle up your line a little bit. So while they are great for the surf, they do come with their own set of challenges and their own little caveats.